Hey, welcome back to our Hero Maker program. In this video, we're going to work on radio buttons and how to store the data from a radio button. So I'm going to have a selection called Preferred Transport. And so I need something where the user is able to select only one of several options. So in radio buttons, we usually use a group box to keep them together. So I'm going to select mine as the name is Preferred Transport. So I will slide the radio buttons into the group box. So we'll see radio button 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now I'm using transport. You could have a preferred food or some other preference. But the choice here is that the user is only allowed to select one of four options. So next, let's change the text for each of these radio buttons. So I'm going to select four different types of transport. Jetpack, land speeder, the teleport, and um, let's do the Batmobile. So since I've changed the text of each of these radio buttons, I'm going to match the name of the control as well. So let's use the prefix RDO for radio button, and then after the underscore, we can change it to the custom name of what the radio button does. Now we should have a default, so that way when the user starts the program, one of these will be selected, because we want to have at least one selected. So let's go find the property for Jetpack called Checked. So a radio button doesn't really have a checkbox, but the property is called Checked. And so if you select it, it will turn it on as a little blue dot. All right, so let's think about the data structure that goes behind our preferred transport. It's different than the cities. The cities, we could have multiple selections. In this one, we're only going to have a single selection. So we can have a single string for our value. So let's come back into our section on our code. And now let's add some new comments. So I'm going to put some notes in here that says, we are going to use a single string since only one mode can be the preferred transport. No arrays needed. So since we can declare the preferred transport as a string, we can immediately assign it. So now the selected or the preferred transport is going to be assigned. So we just need to, need to check to see which one of these four items has been selected. And uh, we will do an if statement for each of these. There's probably more elegant ways to do this, but this is the most understandable, as you can see how it works uh, very straightforward. All right, so now that we have a string called preferred transport, let's add it to our status message at the end. So just before the message box, let's add on something to status message. So I think we're good now. We'll put in hero, give him an ability, a place, and you notice we can only select one of these four items. Let's let him ride by Batmobile. And sure enough, it says your hero prefers to travel by Batmobile. All right, so we've got ourselves a several different types of controls so far. Now we're going to move on in the next video to do some sliders, and the math and the controls will be a little more complicated.